So number 8 then from the 2016 Advanced Higher Maths. There we go. Complex numbers. 6 marks and 3 little bits. Plotting and argan diagrams and so on. Anyway, first part. Here's a complex number in rectangular form. Plot it on an argan diagram for one mark. Well, on the, on the argan diagram, that's the real part. You go along root 3. So that's the scale point root 3. And you go down 1. That's the scale point negative 1. And Z would be located there. Quite often you put in its position vector. Because it's quite handy for finding Z in polar form. Because in polar form, that's going to be its modulus. And that's going to be its argument. And you can see the numbers. 1 root 3. 1, 2 root 3. It's going to be 2 times. And you know the angle is going to be 30 degrees. Part B. Let W equal AZ, where A is just a real number. Express W in polar form. We can get the polar form of Z straight off that diagram. So I said before, that's 2 and that's 30 degrees, but it's a negative 30 degrees. But for 3 marks, maybe you'd have to go through the rigmarole. So we'll say the modulus of that would be the square root of 1 plus, just taking those parts, it should have been 3 plus 1. I know, but I'm just looking at there, which is 2, which you knew anyway. And the argument of Z is going to be the inverse tan of, and that will be negative 1 upon root 3, which you know from the diagram is in the fourth quadrant. So you know that that, without looking it up, is 30 degrees, so that's negative pi upon 6. Which means that W is going to be A times this. It's going to be A times 2 of cos negative pi upon 6 plus I sine negative pi upon 6. But rather than putting a times 2, I'll put 2a. Modulus? It's 2. The argument was negative pi upon 6. That's because it's in that fourth quadrant. And I'm not going to change that into cos pi upon 6 minus i sine pi upon 6, because I'd rather leave the arguments alone in the principal form for what follows next. C. Oh no, it was only two marks that bit. C. Express W to the power 8 back in rectangular form. Well, the reason that you've got W here in polar form is it's easy to find the power of it. So if I want W to the power 8, I would just take this 2A cos negative pi upon 6 plus I sine negative pi upon 6 and take that to the power 8, which means it'll be this part, 2 to the 8, a to the 8. But by De Mauvres, you just multiply the angles by 8. So it'll be cos negative 8 pi upon 6, which I can cancel down. It's a nuisance you have to write this all out because I have to write it all out again when you cancel it down. But I'm not just going to cancel it down. I'm going to cancel it down and put it where it belongs. Because obviously that's negative 4 upon 3. Negative 4 upon 3 pi, that's more than pi, takes it round into the proper half, if you like. It'll be 6 thirds altogether. So going round 4 thirds means this line is actually over here. I know you're not meant to draw in this diagram. Ooh. Means it's over here. And you're going round here for 2 pi upon 3. Z's up there somewhere, I don't know how big that is in relation to that. So that's the same as cos of 2 pi upon 3 plus I sine 2 pi upon 3. Now it's just a case of put that back to rectangular form by evaluating the two parts. So I've got 2 to the power 8, A to the power 8. Now the cosine, I'm just going to change it into real money, of 120 is the same as the cosine of 60, but negative, and the cosine of 60 is a half, plus i times. The sine of 120 is the same as the sine of 60, but positive, and the sine of 60 is root 3 upon 2. The 2s can come out and take one of those away from it, 2 to the 7. So 2 to the power 7 
a to the 8 of negative 1 plus i times root 3 looks pretty much like the required form. k a to the n x plus i root y. That's it. Except maybe we'll have to spell that out. That'll be 128. 128 a to the a negative 1 plus i root 3. It doesn't actually say because it's also annoying when they mention these things. Do we have to specify what k, x and y are? Maybe we'll just put a wee safety net here where k would be this 128, x would be that negative 1 and y is the bit inside the square root which is a 3.